Civil society organizations in Namibia continue to play an important role in supporting human rights and democracy, as well as promoting transparency, accountability and social justice. However, very often, civil society feels left out from the national issues, as their mandate is misunderstood. Vice Chairperson of the National Council, Victoria Kauma, pointed out that it is important for civil society organizations not to turn themselves into political organizations and to focus on their mandate, which is to better collaborate in the development of the country and its citizens, as well as to reduce inequalities. We therefore support a vibrant civil society because the sector often has access to critical information and your proximity to the grassroots, just like us. The Regional Council makes us good partners to identify and advocate for the needs of our people. Civic Plus 264 coordinator Melani Marcus echoed that civil society organizations would like to take advantage of the increased personal and political freedoms by coming together, voicing their concerns and advocating for greater inclusion in national affairs. Ensuring that civil society organizations and citizens have become increasingly active in local issues and national politics, demanding accountability, promoting transparency, and access to information, as well as pro uh, providing basic services to the population. We'd like to ensure that ongoing engagement rec uh, results in recognition of civil society's contributions, accompanied by incremental increases in access and greater civil society inclusion in government and parliamentary affairs. Speaking on the importance of social justice and oversight of parliament, secretary to the National Council, Advocate Tusi Namasep pointed out some oversight challenges. Members of parliament sit together with the executive. Executive is the cabinet, cabinet members. But they sit in the National Assembly. Then you will feel that is there proper oversight. If all ministers are part of parliament in the assembly, uh, can assembly in particular, Parliament generally actually do oversight independently, especially if ministers are senior members in the assembly and the private members, we refer to them as backbenchers. How strong is a backbencher against a senior member of Parliament who is an executive functionary? The workshop further informed stakeholders about the submission of oral and written memoranda to standing committees to aid oversight activities.